Today we are making baked feta pasta and for that we need of course some pasta, cherry tomatoes, oregano, black pepper, olive oil and here we have some chopped red chili, feta cheese, parmigiano reggiano, chopped basil, uh, garlic cloves and uh, that's about it. This should be pretty delicious and let's see how it's done. So let's start by putting some olive oil on the bottom. We're gonna be use, using about half a cup of olive oil. Uh, some of them goes first in and others afterwards. Then feta cheese, then on the bottom the sides of feta cheese we put eight garlic cloves, this one chopped fresh red chile, and these will be moisting up and making themselves soft under these sherry tomatoes, and we put about 500 grams of these around the feta cheese. I love to use lots of these tomatoes. I like the tomato taste on that pasta. Uh, you can choose to put a little less of these if you want. Then oregano, about one tablespoon. and black pepper also about one tablespoon. You don't have to use these lots of black pepper and oregano as I do. It's your choice. I like to make this a pretty flavorful. Then we finish it with more olive oil. I like to use lots of this olive oil so it stays juicy and this softens up really, really good. Mm, now what we are going to do, we put it in the oven for about 40 minutes in 175 degrees Celsius. Uh, if you're using Fahrenheit scales it's about 300, 350 Fahrenheit. And afterwards when this is ready, we are going to make some pasta. Actually, we are going to make that pasta before this is ready. You should use, do your pasta about 10 to 15 minutes before this is ready. But this goes to the oven now. So, the pasta water needs some salt. So we put a little bit of salt in the pasta water and boil it up. And when it's boiled, boiling, we add these pastas about 200 grams in there. And we make it al dente, so it's perfect for the, our feta pasta. So, now that it's out of the oven, we need to mash these and mix these. And I use this kind of big thing. Be careful of those hot tomato juices if those are going to attack you. Like this. And then we do the finishing with fork. Now I think we are ready. So we have now this super delicious flavorful mixture of all those ingredients. And now we will add our pasta in here. Like that. Then we mix it well. Like 
like this. It's ready. Now we put it on the plate and finish it with Parmigiano Reggiano and some chopped basil. And here you go. Delicious baked feta pasta. And then we will create some Parmigiano Reggiano to get that salty, cheesy flavor. Like that. And a little bit of fresh basil on top. At least it looks super delicious. Now we have to taste it. Oh yeah, great tomato flavor. Uh, if you don't like the tomato flavor too much and you want to you want it to stay in the background, I recommend you to put a little bit less those tomatoes, but I love this. This is exactly what I was aiming for. I think we managed to make a pretty good feta pasta and this is not too salty. Actually a couple of days ago I tried to make this feta pasta and it was way too salty. You can say it was good, but I wasn't looking for good. I was looking for extremely delicious and this one is extremely delicious. I filmed that failed feta pasta and maybe I will actually publish also it. If I publish I may put it here somewhere in this video in the end screen or link down below or something so you can watch what kind of Pasta session was that. It was good. If you want salty pasta, really salty feta pasta, then that is yours. And burnt garlic and in addition to that, in that session I forgot to put my pasta water boiling so timings were not too perfect. This is way better than the last one, but I don't know. Try this one, try the other, the saltier one, make your own adjustments there, customize it, but take care that you enjoy the process making that food. So, I think I stay eating this and uh, I will bid you farewell. Bye.